On this episode of Mad Ginger Customs, we're going to teach you how to balance your own tires using a bubble balancer. Not only that, we're going to teach you how to modify a bubble balancer to work properly. Let's go. All right, guys, we're back. So what we have here is your typical bubble balancer. Uh, you can get it from Amazon. You could get this thing on Harbor Freight. Uh, they're all the same. It's basically a base that should be way heavier than it is. This is a, some type of aluminum, pot metal, something. A hardened pin. You can see that. We'll do the old Instogram for Jess. And that hardened pin sits inside this hole. Slide her down. Well, well, you can. There you go. And then on top, you have the bubble, right? And depending on where it goes, the bubble moves around. And basically what you do is you sit your wheel on top of here. You know, springs compress. It centers around the cone. Now right off the rip, taking this thing out of the box, it, you know, it moves okay, but that should not stop like this. Unacceptable condition! This should not stop spin moving like that. This thing should continue to walk itself around and eventually, eventually stop. So what's the problem with these? I'm gonna tell you the problem. The problem with every bubble balancer is overcoming friction, right? So what this thing's doing is on the, on the pin to a point, it sits on it and it's supposed to balance itself on basically the head of a pin, right? Not a head of a pin, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna show you why this doesn't work and then I'm gonna show you how to fix it. The cheapest thing you can do is work with what you have here, okay? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something really quick. I'm gonna push down on this. I'm not gonna push really hard, but I'm gonna wiggle this around. I can feel resistance and I'm gonna show you why. Right? I'm gonna, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm gonna see if I can get this for you. Man, I wish I could focus on this. This has aluminum all the way around, not at the point, but at the base of the taper. The base of the taper here. What that's telling you is, instead of, instead of resting on the tip of this pin, it's actually resting on the internal cylindrical part of the hole here. That causes resistance. If this unit has resistance, you're never gonna be able to balance a tire well with it, okay? So the, the, the easiest and cheapest thing you can do, the free thing, if you drill this hole out larger than the diameter of this hole or this pin, just on the shank, right? To the base, the only thing that's gonna to touch is the top of this pin. Right out of the box, that was the easiest thing I could think of doing. So that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna come back to it. So I'm gonna put this back on so you guys can see it's it wobble around, and then we're gonna, maybe we should time it. Well, maybe I can do that. I might be able to do that in my editing software for you guys. Wow, this light is crazy today. Sun's going down. So watch this, I'm gonna just poke it. And you say, well, how much do you poke it? I mean, I'm pushing it pretty good. That stops relatively immediately. <clears throat> if you think you're gonna take a tire and put it on this thing and get a result that you can duplicate, I, I, I don't think you can. And we're gonna, we're gonna fix it. All right, guys, so here's what we did. Used a series of drill bits. This drill's about smoke. Don't buy brushed Ryobi stuff. This stuff's not great. Um, stepped it up, right? 
So I drilled in just touching the bottom and then I widened it out as I went. That way it clears away all the material that's gonna surround this pin right here, okay? I don't know if I can get you guys in here close enough, but this is what we look like, right? So we widened out the base and instead of being like this, it's like this now. Watch this, this is incredible. This is the only thing we've done. I know a lot of guys are like, oh, you gotta put grease on them. You, you, why? It, it, it's, it's literally the, the tip of a pin that you're, you're balancing on. So when you get down here, right? Gotta get it in the hole, there you go. Wa watch this, watch. I'm just gonna touch this, watch. Watch how long this thing goes for. And it's doing this, because it's trying to center itself. Oh. Guys, this mod is free. All you need is drill bits. Everybody's got drill bits. Look at this thing go. Still going. If you do this to this balancer, and you did nothing else, this is, this is gonna work 100 times better. No friction, right? Now think about it the other way. When you got the weight of a tire on it, it's gonna kind of wobble one time and that's gonna be the end of it. This thing, gonna give you a better, truer balance. And I can promise you something. I've seen videos when guys are like, it doesn't matter if you use this on a level surface because it'll, it'll, it'll center itself to begin with. Yes and no. If you left it the way it came out of the box where it had to go up the cone in the cylinder you're going to be offset to one side and it's going to favor the other side. You don't want that. This is what, look at it, it's still going. We did one thing to this. We drilled a hole, we opened it from a cylinder, we opened it up into a taper. So the only thing that's touching is the tip of that hardened pin. If you guys take away anything from this video, this is going to make this thing a hundred times more accurate. It's still going. Look, still going, right? Now, does this take your balancing time and maybe move it up a little bit? Well, yeah, be careful. Don't bang it around. Set it on there nice. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna balance tires and I'm gonna show you multiple ways you can balance tires with the clip-on weights, doing it in a Y, doing it on each side. You know, it's a static balancer. Are you better off? with a, you know, road force balancer, you know, with a modern digital machine, probably. This, you can buy one time. This thing's like 70 bucks. And you gotta, what are you gonna spend time? I mean, granted, it's it's steel. You know, it's not aluminum, it's steel. I thought it was aluminum originally, but it, it's steel, the, the insert is steel. It's gonna take you some time. I didn't wanna have you guys, you know, watch me struggle, push it on the drill. It's still moving. This is ideal and we're gonna use it and I'm gonna show you how. So guys, uh, Jess is joining us to balance tires. So uh, she can use the, the tire machine we built. If you guys haven't seen this video, this video um, did fairly well for us. Uh, I think it's really, really like back saving. It's gonna save you a lot of effort changing tires with a Harbor Freight tire changer or an Amazon or Princess Auto. You guys up in Canada don't have Harbor Freight, you have Princess Auto. This is basically the same unit you'd buy at Princess Auto. I'm gonna have a link in the description. You guys can check that video out. So, we're back with the bubble balancer. Now, I'm gonna take you guys off the stand. And we're gonna have a little discussion about the bubble balancer. You guys saw me modify it. So, what I did in the meantime I don't know if you can see this or not. So in here is the bubble, right? And then there's a dot in the middle, and then there's a round black dot. Now, you know, I have to be directly over it. It's hard for you guys to see. So you have to level this out before you use it. So basically, if your bubble is going this way, you need to unscrew the screws because this is spring-loaded and you can move the leveler in the bubble balancer. You want to make sure that before you start, you center this thing, you put it down, you let it sit. 
after you do my modification, you know, you can touch it with your hands and try to center it out, but let it sit and then work your level out because that's the most important thing, right? I've done that prior to this. We're not going to sit through that. Okay. So we're going to drop this thing right there where we normally have the, the unit. And so a couple guys asked me about this. These are the anchors. These are half inch anchors. I just banged them into the ground, you know, hit them with a hammer drill and banged them in. That way we can unscrew them. We take the unit and we store it. So we got enough room between the bumper of the car. The car's on jack stands, guys, so we can put these on it. Um, we're gonna lower the car first. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. If you guys are interested, I know a lot of the tire guys came here for just the tire changer video, but we do, you know, hot rod stuff. We do fabrication stuff. So check out our other videos. So we got videos of just welding. We got videos of just cleaning that car out, which was a train wreck. The trunk. You guys should see that. Just crawling through the trunk of this car, through rat crap and debris and all kinds of stuff like a champion, breaking the breaking the uh, the lock free. She did a really good job for us. So we're gonna set this thing up in the middle. And we're going to get after it. So what we did was we got this to sit down and have the base not rock around, right? It's really important because this base isn't flat across the bottom. It has little pads that are cast into it all the way around. So you want to make sure that that's not going to wobble around because with my mod, this thing's going to wobble around enough on its own at the top. And you want to cut down on your balancing time because like I said, if you give that thing a whack, it's just going to keep going. So what Jess is going to do, Jess is going to grab the tire. She's going to put it on here. And then we're just going to try to slow it down by hand. And it'll still balance itself. It's a little windy. If the wind gust comes, it will actually affect the tire balance. So um, we're trying to kind of shield it. You guys can't see that, but we're trying to shield it a little bit from the wind. Uh, it's raining today. It's pretty rough out here. So uh, go ahead, Jess, and... Mount the, put the tire on the on the balancer the way I showed you. So nice and slow down on it. And you're gonna want it to, yep, go down and center. And then what you're gonna want to make sure is if it looks centered all the way around, and it, it it does, that's pretty good. Even if you give it a little push, this cone should center it in the so what we're gonna do is just kind of Hold on to it a little bit and see what happens. Let me grab the people. So what do you think? Which side is it? Yeah, it's high on this side, right? But not by much. Not by much. So I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to show you guys this because of the lighting. But the bubble is favoring this side. So what we want to do is we want to add weight here. So Let's see here. It's actually more like this, mm -hmm. right? She it is, actually moved. I feel like it's closer. Well, because it is the, the tire is moving and yeah, it's spinning. it's more this way. Right, so we're going to hold on to it. And we're going to try to slow them down. Yep, so we got to add a little bit here. Not much. Right, so why don't you start off with... Let me put this back up here. Oh my God! I'm tripping over killing myself. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny when people get hurt, especially when it's your husband. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. You let's, didn't get hurt. let's start off with a one ounce. And we're gonna put that thing like... Diagonal. We're gonna go like here, like right there, right against the rim. Oh, I'm moving the tire. Yeah, see, it's gonna move, so we need to stop it. Now check. That's pretty good. It's still moving. I know. So it's still favoring this side a little bit. Mm -hmm. See, it's this way. So maybe, I would say a half or, let's just try a whole nother ounce. And because we can always go, guys, we got a quarter ounce, half ounce, three quarter ounce, and then one ounce. And these are just clip-ons. Um, you can buy stick-ons. Um, we'll show you where those go too. 
but so we're gonna try we're gonna take this one and we're gonna right next to it like on an angle from where this is see way better that's right? almost dead center that's pretty much dead center so it's taken us two ounces to balance this tire if you guys go five ounces on a tire don't go any further unless it's like a really big like a 35 inch tire 33 37 if you have a car tire or a truck tire and you have to put more than five ounces in one side stop what you're doing dismount your tire break the beads and spin it because what you did was found the heaviest part of the rim and the heaviest part of the wheel and you they're together now these tires were cheap and everyone in the comment section of the last video was like hey you got to find the red dot and line it up with the valve stem these didn't have a red dot or a yellow dot so what we're going to do is we're either going to mark this mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. we can mark it mm -hmm. so we know where it's going to go and we're going to go dead nut center mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. so we could take the red marker because this is going to have trim rings on it anyway and we're going to mark it where we want them right there how's that going to show up on the red paint because we're, we're <laughs> it's fresh we're seeing it okay. we know this is directly in line with that little nub on the h right okay right so now we're going to take our weights off and we're going to take it off the balancer because we do not want to beat up the balancer put it back here yeah we're going to well we're going to move yeah we're going to put it over here we're going to bang these weights on. Uh oh yeah this way Go right down in front of you. On the ground. Yeah, on the ground. I moved that way too much. It doesn't matter. That's fine. As long as we don't move it from where it is, right? So we need to find our, our dot. And that's our dot. Yeah, I see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that thing right to the top, right? Where the A is and the dot. That's the dot. And we're going to take this. And unfortunately, this is fairly violent. Wait, it's near the H. It is. It's near the A. Did I say the H? You said H. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, it's the H. Well, the, I meant the, this A. Mm -hmm. What just happened? Okay. <laughs> so basically what I would do is, guys, I would grab this against my legs. I'm going over here. Right? I would find our little mark, and you want to center this hog right on there. And then, these are pliers. I got a link in the description in the last video. And basically you... Bang them in. The other one you want to put on the other side, right? You do not want all the weights on the outside if you can help it. Now, if you just got to do a quarter ounce, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't really matter, right? So we want to make sure that this is going to go in the exact same spot, right? So we're going to, we're yeah, here. How are you going to see that from? We're here. Okay. Right, we're here and we're right here. So we know if this is on top, and this is on top, and it is. And then we're doing the same thing. Watch your finger. Watch your finger. <laughs> I'm not good with a hammer, guys. <laughs> now, what do you do now? You have to re-test it. Check it again, right? And not only are going to check it in one place, we're going to check it in three places. So we're going to put it on, then we're going to spin it, check it, spin it, check it. Okay. So I'll do it this time. Okay. You're, you're a little fragile thing. She's not. She's really strong, guys. She's freakishly strong. So now you let it center. Wow, that's real good. <laughs> that's dead nuts. Oh. All right. So I... Good job. You did a good job. You put them on. <laughs> you did a good job. I didn't put the weights on. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't know if you can see the dot. It's hard to see. And honestly, if I turn the angle of this it's up or down, different. but looking dead straight on, which, I, I mean, the camera doesn't do that well. Anyway, guys, trust me. It's, she's good. So that's one way, one way, right? Now we're going to check this in three different spots. You guys don't need to see that. We're going to show you the next way to do it now. Fire the next one on. Wait, before you do that, we didn't, I didn't ask you on that one, but we've talked about this before. What is the first thing you do? Well, it's got to be centered. It's got to be centered. But what about the tire itself? There shouldn't be anything in the tread. 
nothing in the track. Clean Guys, <laughs> if you're doing a used tire, make sure it's not rocks in it because you're balancing against the rocks. Now, how much is that going to knock it off? I don't know. But also, think about what you're using your vehicle for. Are you using your vehicle for highway use only? Are you using it for back roads? Is it a trailer tire? That determines how picky you have to be, right? This is static balancing versus dynamic balancing, right? So we're gonna show you another way. So fire that thing on there. Diesel. Lift with your legs. Not your back. Whoa, that's squirrely. Okay. So just try to let the tire rest where it wants to rest. We're not, we're not trying to influence the bubble, mm -hmm. right? Okay, now, technically, well, mm -hmm. it's actually pretty decent, but it's, yeah, you're right, it's this way. Mm -hmm. Now, the other way that you're supposed to do this, and I guess this is the patented way these were designed, and I did not know this until I did some research online and on YouTube, right? You should be spreading the weight in a Y, right? So if this is the heaviest section of the tire, and you want to add weight here, instead of adding it in one spot, you should spread it and add it in two. So that's the other way you can do this. When I watch my buddies do this with tire balancing machines, they never do that. They add weight on the inside, weight on the outside, or they'll use stick-on weights, and you want it in the middle of the rim on the back side. You clean it and stick it on. We're not going to address that today because uh, we do mostly old steelies, and I feel that that's what the majority of people are going to do. If you have aluminum wheels and they are offset, right, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take that amount of weight and you're just going to lay it in here like we showed you. And then when you determine where it's going to go, you're going to turn the tire over, clean the spot, and then you're going to make sure that you balance however much weight it is. You find the center line and then you balance it in the center, right? And then you only want to go in the middle of the wheel. So you could use a tape measure and determine what the total, the total diameter or the total width height of this is. And then you want to go in the middle of that. We're not doing that right now. So we're going to try, uh, let's see, try, try two, three quarters. Grab two, three quarter ounce weights. And we're going to try that. And we're going to try to put them in a Y. So if we know that it's here, Maybe like here and here, go really gentle, like one on the S and one on the P of pressure, and we'll see what happens. It might be too much. And then one like right there. Now that did move. Actually, wow, okay. Well, you're pretty good at this. Let me look. Uh, what? Okay, I have to put my head right over it. <laughs> you have to be that looks pretty good. Does it? <laughs> Guys, we didn't do this ahead of time, I promise you. <laughs> that was a good guess. Yeah. Anything, I think we're actually still a little high here. So what we can do is move this one down. Oh, yeah. no, fumble. Fumble! How dare you? I got it. So throw it like here. On the seven? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, try that. Okay. Here comes the wind. Now, let's see that. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, it's way better. Check yeah. it out now. Oh, yeah. That is better. See it? But where did we have it before? We had it out here. Right? Oh. So what we're trying to do, we're moving the weight this way. But how did it make from here to here such a little difference? Because you're putting the weight more towards the outside, right? To where the to, to where it's light, right? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Technically, instead of being one and a half ounces, you might have just been able to put like a one or a one point two directly here, mm -hmm. right? But you're doing the Y method. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab you guys. Like I said, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Um. Yeah, it's really hard to see. You have to trust us. Yeah. <laughs> Would this face lie to you? <laughs> She'd not, she wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bang those things on just like we did before, right? Don't trip. Okay, so we just wanna be in the middle because we're not gonna put them on both sides of this. Now, 
technically we, we could if we had half of the three quarter weight, but we really don't, right? Uh, we have quarters and we have, half. it's just gonna make it difficult. And honestly, this car guys, it's not a highway car. This car is literally may never run. This is the car we're actually putting it on. Don't say that. As you can, well, it, it actually runs now. You guys should watch my videos. I know you might come here for the tire stuff, but this car sat for 50 years in a field and it was seized and it took me 14 hours. I broke it free. Uh, it runs and I freed up every cylinder in it. Check those videos out. So what we're gonna do is, little dot and a little dot. You don't see that? And it doesn't matter if we mark the rim because the weight's going to go over the... I was going to say, make it a little darker. Yep. You mark the weights. That's okay. We're not too concerned. All right. Well, so now... You tire off or you're going to get the tire off? You're going to take the tire off muscles. Where do you want it? Right in this area. Okay. Then get out of the way. Man, she's demanding. <laughs> Guys, she's demanding. I'd let you bang these on, but we know what's going to happen no, if you do that's that. that's not a good idea. You're going to take a finger off. <laughs> now, where are, the, where are the dots? Oh, crap. There's one there? Yep. Uh-oh. And there's got to be one It's up somewhere here. over it's here. here. No. Oh, yeah, it's over there. Yeah. She knows. I don't know. There's one right there. Yeah. So we want this in the center of that. And we're going to try not to destroy our fingers. There's one. Right there. Yep. And there's two. It's near the S. Okay. The Y weight method is technically the method that was preferred using the bubble balancer, or you can use the one on the inside and one on the outside. So guys, there you have it. One simple mod, and it's free, is going to make this do this. This thing will run around for a significant amount of time. Obviously, there's no weight on it. That's the only thing you need to do to make this a productive tool, and it's free to do. One mod, drill bits. Basically, it's a 930 seconds. You're going to get yourself up to a 3 8 in the bottom. That's going to give you that taper instead of a cylindrical hole. And that is going to make this unit wonderful. Uh, I'd like to thank Jess for helping out balancing tires. Um, I'd also like to thank all you guys who clicked on the last video. That was really big for Jess and I. Um, if you guys need stuff from Amazon, you can click our affiliate links, right? And you don't even have to buy what's in the link. You can just buy anything afterwards. And uh, we get a little something for that. So if you want to help the channel, that helps the channel. Uh, we also had a gentleman in uh, one of the shoebox videos. I do a lot of videos on Ford on this 1950 Ford shoebox. He says, hey, he goes, why don't you have the buy me a coffee link set up? He goes, I I'd like to do that so I can donate to the channel. I said, I'm not really sure what that is. I did look it up. <laughs> I signed up for it. There's a buy me a coffee link in the description. We're also going to have everything we used. We're going to have the weights, the hammer, this balancer, and I'm even going to throw in all the links for the tire machine, the manual tire, tire changer that we, we modified to be super useful. I'm going to have that video linked, and I'm going to have a couple shoebox videos linked. If you guys like our content, like and subscribe. We would love that. And check out the rest of our videos. We've got some stuff on, you know, 1966 F100, 1964 F100. We're going to do Jeep videos. we got tons of videos on putting floors and things, making rockers. We, hand, we try to hand make everything. What I, what I preach on my channel is, if I can do this, you can do this. And I firmly believe that. So hit that like. Leave a comment. We, we respond to every single comment. If you look at our videos, it's every single comment. We will respond to it. Good, bad, or indifferent. And some of you guys are, you guys are peaches. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we hope to see you in our next video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>